This is a quick video on how to make a compost tea. So here I am at my compost. This compost is completely done as you can see. It's dry and nice black in color. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of scoops of compost and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my uh, water can that the water has been sitting for 24 hours just to get rid of all the chemicals. So as you can see, I have water in this five gallon bucket. I think it's five gallons. I went ahead and added three to two tablespoons of black strip molasses. You can use any brand that you want. And you can see that molasses has been completely um, dissolved in the water. And this water has been sitting before I added molasses for 24 hours just to make sure there are no chemicals inside the water. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm simply gonna take my compost and I am going to dump it all in. So I'm simply gonna give it a quick stir. So what the whole idea is to make sure the compost sits in the water and brews for about 24 to 48 hours so you can get all the good uh, bacteria from the compost into the tea and then you can either feed your plants with foliage feeding or you can pour directly into your plants and I have added molasses molasses or molasses whatever you want to call it to help with the brewing of the tea and increase in the good bacteria that we need for our plants so we're going to let this sit for 28 to 48 hours I think I'm going to let it sit for 48 hours and I'm going to come back in two days and show you how it looks so it has been 48 hours that the compost tea has been brewing so what we're going to do right now is we're going to give it a quick stir. As you can see, the tea is dark and nice and it's full of uh, good bacteria that our plants need. So once I give it a stir, I have also added some organic powdered fertilizer, probably uh, four to five tablespoons. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fill my jug and I'm going to feed it to my plants. And you're just going to fit it to your plants like so, making sure you cover all the foliage. And you should probably do it once every week. It's the most easiest form of giving your plants all the fertilizers that they need. Here I am feeding my cantaloupes, just making sure all the foliage is nice and wet. I just harvested these and again I'm making sure all the foliage is completely covered with my compost tea. So I have completed giving my plants the compost tea plants look nice and green as you can see I have completely soaked my plants in the compost tea and you'll see that your compost is hanging in between your leaves and that's absolutely okay here is my moringa And the jalapenos look really happy. And these are my eggplants. As you can see, some of the compost fell on top of the leaves. And that's absolutely okay. I'm going to water them off tomorrow. These are my eggplants. And this is my okra. And hope this helps. Happy gardening.